You knew this four-game stretch for the Seahawks that started on Monday night against Philadelphia was going to help the defense, but boy, the Eagles started it off by helping out the defense in a big way. You can see that they were able to get pressure on Carson Wentz. He was sacked six times on Tuesday. Doug Peterson said, hey, it could have been as many as 10. They were able to contain him, and now all of a sudden the defense has 29 sacks, 19 or so in the last four or five weeks, and that's added now 29 sacks is one more than last year, and they're on a good pace. You can see that Jamal Adams has been incredible. I don't think I've ever seen a safety that has six and a half sacks in seven games and could end up as a double-digit sack guy. And then, of course, the great acquisition of Carlos Dunlap has really helped. He has four and a half sacks in four games, and it's opened things up in the middle of the field for the defensive tackles to get pressure. Now, the one concern coming out of the victory over Philadelphia is the fact that Dunlap is injured. He's got a foot injury. You hope that can't be bad or he's going to miss some time because they need Dunlap. But Vincent Mayo is able to come on. They're able to get some good pressure. Well, they've got Rasheen Green as now on the nickel as far as an inside pass rusher, and he's doing well. Dunlap has been a key. Adams has been a key, and the schedule is going to be a key coming up because now they take on a New York Giant team that Daniel Jones probably is not going to play because of a hamstring injury on Sunday, a bad Jet team that hasn't won a game, a Washington team that could be a little bit dangerous with Alex Smith, the quarterback. But overall, this four-game stretch, which started on Monday night, could really help the confidence of this defense, the secondary, the defensive line, and all of that together to try to get to 11-3 by the time they take on the Los Angeles Rams in Week 16. We'll be right back.